have to confess I was looking more, much more forward to the, um, the give and take in the conversation. But uh, let me just fit, say a few words. First, uh, I'm also delighted to be here. Uh, it's my first time in Ireland, and uh, I promise you it won't be my last. And uh, it's uh, so far a lovely country. Uh, what I've been most impressed with is uh, your commitment that, that I see towards moving towards a sustainable energy future. In the United States, we too are trying to move as aggressively as we can as part of uh, the recovery program in the United States to get out of this terrible, terrible recession. Um, we made a decision, uh, the President and Congress made a decision of, uh, we're, in order to stimulate job production, what do you stimulate it in? And uh, a large part of that, some of it was uh, uh, tax relief in businesses, individuals, but a large part of it was actually an investment in the energy infrastructure of the United States, uh, $90 billion, of which a large fraction of that ended up in the Department of Energy, some $33 billion. Uh, we think that the energy infrastructure, uh, as in Ireland, uh, need, needed upgrading. There's huge opportunities in uh, retrofitting the uh, older homes and older buildings, in improving the efficiency of factories. We think that that is crucial to our future competitiveness in the United States. Also, the development of new sources of energy, uh, wind, solar, the grid, uh, four and a half billion dollars, uh, which is a small fraction of what one needs, but it, it's a crucial amount to, to actually get smart grid deployment to accelerate. So uh, the Obama administration uh, is looking to all those things as a start, essentially a down payment on something that has to continue. We see what these investments as uh, critical to the future prosperity of the United States. Uh, we need an efficient economy. We need all countries are interested in energy independence and energy security, indigenous forms of energy of various sorts, so, so that you don't overinvest in one particular sector. So we see this as, as a, a very important strategy. Um, now, having said that, um, you know one can view this as, and it partly will be, you know, a competition between countries in order to develop this kind of but. On a larger scale, it's not going to be a competition so much as it will be a cooperation because there's plenty to go around. And this is where I, as a scientist, uh, feel very strongly about. There's nothing that says wealth has to be conserved in order for someone to grow wealthy, someone else to become poor. The, the, the magic of technology, uh, the magic of what we did in agriculture uh, with the invention uh, in the British Isles. Of, of fertilizer, uh, stimulated, it was actually invented in Germany, but stimulated by a speech <laughs> given in, in England, um, was enabled Europe to feed itself. And going from the 19th to 20th century, the development of hybrid strains of wheat and corn and others enabled, again, uh, um, production of food per acre, not only in developed countries, but developing countries like India, Pakistan, and Mexico threefold, fivefold per acre. So wealth is not conserved. We think also it's possible to go to sustainable energy to give us the energy we, we want and we need, but in a much cleaner way. And so, uh, so for that reason, I think uh, there's lots of things. We can certainly learn from Ireland because you're, you're, you're advancing uh, and marching in the right direction. We, we too are doing this, but uh, uh, I think uh, by sharing each other's technologies and policies and finding out what works and what doesn't work, it, it would be something beneficial to everybody. Um, and just in closing, I would just say that um, you know I got into this because my concerns about climate change maybe six, eight years ago, I used to give talks, but they were academic talks. And I became more and more convinced that uh, I just can't sit there and talk about it. I had to, you know, vote with my feet, so to speak, and slowly started to go down a downward path from a, a professor and a scientist to a, a bureaucrat. <laughs> uh, but in any case, it, it's something I still feel very strongly about. It, it's worth it <laughs> to, 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 to um, be able to help in this path. Uh, it's a large part of its 
a lot of it's going to come from technology and development, uh, and other parts will necessarily come from policy. And so I'm eager to learn from you here on you know all of those areas and and what we can do in the United States, but all, and what, to hear what you're doing in Ireland. So that's all I have to say. But I'm delighted to be here and already this morning learning a lot about uh, what the Irish are doing in the uh, upgrading the grid, going to uh, 40 percent renewables, which is uh, fantastic. Um, we too, by mid-century, have to be in a place where you know we need to cut our carbon emissions by at least 80 percent in the United States, and it's just a fact. And so, how do we help each other get there is very important. All right. So, thank you.